Hello everyone, my name is Alberto Carrillo. I'm co-founder and chief technical officer of the Science Beast Targets Initiative. I want to start by expressing my sincere gratitude to Climeworks for the opportunity to share some words with you today. Um, also, I want to thank you for the opportunity to exchange some ideas and also for having the kindness to host me even when I cannot be there in person. Um, I want to share some reflections about three key challenges that we have to achieve climate stability and the importance of addressing these challenges in a holistic and interconnected way and to avoid the false dichotomies that we are often caught when we are discussing these three challenges in isolation. The first of these challenges is the importance of protecting nature. We know we are losing our ecosystems at an alarming rate and we know preserving ecosystems is critical not only to achieve climate stability, but also to preserve biodiversity and to sustain life on this planet. Protecting nature has to be a paramount priority if we want to achieve the multiple goals that we have and to achieve sustainability and climate stability. Now, the second of these challenges is decarbonizing our economy. We also know that we've been burning fossil fuels at a rate that is unsustainable, and we know that we need to move as soon as possible into an economy that no longer depends on the combustion of fossil fuels. Um, we need to move towards a circular economy and we need to achieve a um, level of emissions that is no longer a threat to our planet. Um, we know that we have less than three decades to achieve this and we also know that we have the technologies and the solutions that are needed. What we need is the will from the different actors including political actors and economic actors. Decarbonizing our economy is as important and needs to be done in parallel with protecting ecosystems. Now, the third challenge that we have is we need to permanently remove carbon from the atmosphere. We know that we have already unsustainable levels of carbon accumulated in the atmosphere, and we also know that we want to protect um, and achieve climate stability, and especially if we want to limit warming to 1.5 degrees which is critical for vulnerable communities and for the delicate balance of our ecosystems, we need to remove carbon from the atmosphere in addition to protecting nature, in addition to decarbonizing our economy. And we also know that we have promising technologies, we have promising business models that need to flourish just as we need to flourish also investment in nature and decarbonizing our economy. We need to approach all of this in a holistic way, in an interconnected way. Let's not waste time discussing which one is more important. We need all of them and we need all of them urgently. This is the spirit in which we approach these three issues in the Science Based Service Initiative. I want to thank you all again for your time and I wish you the best for the summit. Thank you.